Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, with their concepts of eternal soul, brought philosophy from heaven down to earth and pulled God from earth up to heaven. In doing so, they diverted human eyes from the earth to heaven and changed concrete thinking to abstract. Not so long after, religion seized this concept and added eternity and hell to it. Building a new world is only possible when mankind with his wisdom looks for answers to his questions about his life's foundation, ethics, and vision, down to earth, not up in heaven. Secularism and humanitarianism allow us to address the needs of people and make life better. Obsession for the world of the abstract, the afterlife, causes neglect of the actual world. Humans can make a new world only when the values that have been taken from earth and have been given to heaven are brought back to earth. Ancient wisdom must be relearned. Every life has its roots in earth. Like a tree developing its roots into the soil to grow and flourish, we can only understand ourselves when we observe deep into the earth. And only by uniting with Mother Earth can we realize God. In turning into soil, God truly becomes God. Mother Earth is a silent God, but an observable, touchable, and examinable one. God is the convergence of heaven and earth, as dying stars dusts gave birth to our lives by uniting to nature. We can give birth to art and creativity. The heaven of religion is one that is only hopefully reached after death. It is an unreachable heaven. When we look at the convergence, we can see heaven as something we can reach during life. A palpable heaven. This Sumur, or rather this benevolent god, by turning to dust, was silent but tactile. You can touch, smell, and feel it, but it does not give mandates or instructions. The soil is the visible and palpable but silent face of God. It is here that mankind and his wisdom should bear the responsibility to express this silent God through his art. Whatever is visible and touchable is quiet. Mother Earth is the silent God who spreads herself under mankind's feet. Earth is full of secrets and hidden treasure, and human wisdom is full of curiosity for examination of those secrets. Mother Earth gives herself to any human to examine her, to cut her open, to find her, and to flourish her with his wisdom. Mother Nature does not reveal her truth to humans through speech or voice, but she spreads herself under humanity's feet as a carpet so he can walk on her day and night and find his peace. In ancient Persian culture, Jamshid wisdom which was the way of every person, saw bricks in the soil upon which they could build homes, cities, and civilizations in which they could live happily and peacefully. Humanity does not need heaven for salvation or to take someone up to heaven or to bring someone down from it. The earth is spread under human feet with beautiful greenery. She grants her resources for living beings to thrive. The earth is proud of productive people who know her treasure's value and who do not pollute it, who give their lives back to the earth and rest with her. We come from earth and we return to it. We are one with her, the source of our life and the origins of our birth. That same thing that is spread under his feet and carries his weight is his best friend. And human wisdom must not forget his origins and must see the truth in it and prosper with it. And human wisdom should find truth in the soil, in the dust that carries humanity's weight every day, that holds his dead and feeds the living, and that gives him wealth and prosperity. Mankind has learned the art of transforming soil into clay and pottery and building heaven on earth. The same way that the Seymouric people made the soil flourish and gave life to it and innovated. This is the way of salvation. Humanity does not need a far away heavenly kingdom to actualize. Mankind spreads and prospers with soil under his feet and he practices the art of becoming soil and becoming Seymourish. 
and he knows that being human is hard, but possible. From now on, mankind does not need to listen to religious didactic thoughts, sayings, and teachings, but rather he knows that God is accessible without all of those intermediaries. From now on, instead of listening to words, he should observe, smell, and feel the silent God, the Seymour, precious dust that descended from the sky so that it can be reascended and create farvah in the reascension. It is not in heaven that God becomes God, but in earth and in becoming earth. Wherever God transforms to dust, there a heaven is born, and wherever God has been taken out of the earth, therein lies hell. God and truth are not in the sky, but in this earth and in this dust. The dust that religions have suggested over and over is worthless. Mankind flourishes on earth only when he knows his true values and becomes a source of art, innovation, and creation. Nursing is worshipping. When humans nurse the earth, it becomes heaven, and they have worshipped God. We should worship nature by nursing it. Worshipping is to find inner joy by spreading happiness. Humans should give happiness to the earth, and in doing so, they can reach the Seamworks court. This has been translated from Discovering Dusty Earth by Manuche Jamali. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have liked the content.